Okay, you want to see some shit? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you werewolves. Werewolves. No, werewolves. Into werewolves. No, were wolves. We had a werewolf as a regular character. Okay, shut up, Giles. I present to you werewolves of London for the Commodore 64. The loading screen is fucking awful. It's just a horrendously pixelated version of the box art, which I'll admit is pretty sweet. One menu screen later, and here we are. And as you can see, we play as a werewolf, a werewolf on the streets of London. I say werewolf, but that sprite could be anything. If you told me I was the crazy old pigeon lady from Home Alone 2, I'd be none the wiser. Kevin, run! The objective is that you've got to kill eight specific people that are dotted around the game, each dressed in purple and each holding a cross. Collect eight crosses and the werewolf curse is broken. First, let's talk about the police. One has a gun and the other has a set of keys. Touch the one carrying the keys and you immediately go to jail. And there's nothing you can do in jail but wait until morning. Every couple of minutes or so, the time of day changes, changing you back into a human. While you can't kill anyone as a human, you can at least explore in peace. And explore you will, in one of the most backward ass disorientating maps ever constructed. Everywhere looks the same, and when you get sent to jail, it doesn't send you back to the beginning, but rather somewhere in the middle of this hellhole. Why is this such a problem? Well, there's this forest area around the start of the game. You'll reach this area as a werewolf, and the gate will be locked. So you think, well, I'll probably need to find a key or something. So you carry on, get caught, and get stuck in this Bermuda fucking triangle in the middle of the game. I played this game for four hours, and I still don't know how to get back to the start. I am not fucking joking. This is the best advice I can give you. If you manage to reach the forest at the beginning of the game without getting caught, wait to become human, and the gate will open. And as far as I know, there's only one purple bastard in the woods. You might have already noticed the blood bag in the corner, which is your health. Replenish it by slashing the shit out of anyone, which is pretty gruesome for 1988. One hit, and they just freeze. No running, no crying. The NPCs take getting slashed to death like champs. The character icon must be selected to jump, which you can only do on certain screens because this game is cack. You can sometimes, with great luck, kill the police carrying the keys, making them drop one. Now, this key can only be used on the inside of the jail. But when you get sent to jail, you lose all your items. And from going by what the manual says, the creators of this shit heap expect you to run back to the jail and drop off these keys so you can get out when you get captured. Let me tell you, when I'm finally able to acquire one of these keys, I have as much chance of finding the lost city of Atlantis as I do the jail. There are some items that are still as much a mystery to me as they are you. What's this? What's that? The only items I recognise are the underground tickets and the bandages. And get this, you go into an underground station and can't pass the barrier, so you immediately go and kill a few people hoping they'll drop a ticket. You go back to the station and all you can do is drop the fucking ticket on the floor. Then, out of complete despair and confusion, you try the sometimes work jump button and realise you can just jump over the fucking barrier. Where do I need slash use the tickets then? Why are they in the game if you can just jump over the barrier? Sometimes the items just get stuck. Fucking brilliant. If you continue holding up when you go through a doorway, you'll immediately turn back around and go back the way you came, which more often than not gets you sent to jail. The music is, well, listen. And when you're stuck in jail waiting for morning with shit all else to do but listen to that, you have to stand back in awe at how fucking wretched this game really is. But I amazingly actually managed to do something though. I reached the back of the forest area and used this on the bars because I remember the manual saying something about using an item on the bars and I broke into jail. So amazing, I thought now when I get captured I have an easy way back to the forest area. Got caught and the bars fucking respawned, they respawned! Then there's the sewers. Use this thing over the manhole covers and you're transported into complete darkness with no way out. I'm not joking. I had to restart the game. Unless you play it for an hour and luckily find your way to this thing, which I now know to be the torch the manual was talking about, do not go into the sewers. But there's no need to go down there anyway. I searched and searched and searched and searched. No purple cross carrying shit to be found. And then there was this time when the game just shit itself. Seven crosses, that's all I managed. 
That's right, I couldn't beat the game. One cross away and I gave up because I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't break the curse. And I'm pretty fucking angry about it actually. Werewolves. Werewolves into werewolves and werewolves.